JT Ray <laughs> says, uh, my watch, now running watch OS 10, told me the other night that it was optimizing its charging. Uh, of course, he says being ready for bed, I wasn't sure what it meant. Now, my Apple Watch Ultra only charges to 80%, just like my new shiny iPhone 15 Pro. The best feature they have adopted from Android. I rarely use 50% of my battery on my watch. Now it just charges to the right spot and stops. And indeed, there is optimized charging, not just on the watch for some models. I believe it uh, is Apple Watch SE and then Series 6 and later. So the uh, watch OS 5 or uh, Series 5 watch that I have is not that. But... Uh, but yeah, interesting. Yeah, and and this is also this also exists on the iPhone 15 as well that I noticed with the uh, my iPhone 15 Pro, but I know that it is there for all of them. As Apple said, there's a new so on the iPhones uh, with iOS 16 and iOS 17, we've had the option to turn optimized battery charging on or off, right? But with the iPhone 15, we have one more option. And that is, so we have no optimization. We have optimized battery charging, which is the old way of doing it, where it gets you to 80% uh, overnight and then stops and then resumes charging from 80 to 100 at some point just before you wake up so that it's not just sitting at 100 all the time or for long periods of time, which Apple has determined is not optimal for uh, battery l longevity. Now, what Apple has added to the iPhones 15 is a third option that get that they call the 80% limit. It gets you to 80% and stops. It doesn't go any farther. Does and, it and take ever go above 80%? Yes. Apple says um, with the 80% limit enabled, your iPhone will occasionally charge to 100% to maintain accurate battery state of chargeness, charge estimates. Okay. I don't know where I got chargeness from. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the that new is. New word. Yeah. What is <laughs> word charge? Of the day, chargeness. What is chargeness? Yeah. <laughs> Aaron wrote in. Um, he said, my iPhone 12 battery was around 84% maximum capacity, and it had okay. very little battery life. After si deciding I would hang on one more year, I went to the Apple store to change the battery. What I did not expect was that the phone magically became brand new fast. I mean, it was like a snappy new device speeding through all the tasks again with iOS 17. I, he says, I knew that Apple throttled the phones, but I didn't realize how much. Based on this, I would recommend a battery change if your battery's maximum capacity is in the mid-80% range and you notice your phone is being slow. For $93 for a new, a brand new experience, it's worth it. Keep up the good work, Aaron. So that's awesome. Uh, so that's surprising. I didn't, I didn't think that this, that, that I, I knew that this would start to happen at some point. I didn't know that it would happen at 84%. 